Right, so today's video got a package from Nike. And let's open it up and see what it is. If you read the title, you already know what it is. But uh, before we get started, I want to say welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Rituals. All right, now we got that out the way and the other box out the way. Like I said before, if you read the title, you know what it is. The GOAT, my GOAT, Kobe, here we go. So this right here is the Kobe Grinch, is what we call it from my time, but this version is called the Kobe 6 Green Apple, but we all know it as the Grinch. We know what it is. It's the Christmas, Christmas Day shoe, where the black mama would give people the business and he would steal Christmas joy from his opponents. We know what it is. And we got the box right here today. We got this one right here in a size 10 and a half USA. And uh, we're gonna crack this box open and get right to it. All right, so I'm gonna have a seat. Let's pop this bad boy open as such. You see, we got Kobe's right here. Ain't they pretty? Look at that skin. I do not like snakes. But the detail in this shoe is awesome. You got the Kobe signature on the back, of course, in red. Look at the bottom. You already know what it is. These are some of the best basketball shoes you can possibly get. Definitely grip-wise. These are worn by a lot of NBA players right now as well as the Kobe, I believe it's the Kobe 5 a lot of people are wearing right now. This is dope, because they just re released a lot of different colorways in those. They got a lot of team colorways going on. Devin Booker has, Devin Booker actually has a great pair. They're white and orange. I can't wait for that player exclusive to be released. But uh, yeah, here's the shoe. Like I said, these are the Kobe 6. I call them the Grinch. That's what my generation calls them. Your generation, if you're younger than me, of course, may call it the green apple. But uh, here we go. You see the zoom right there on the shoe? The Kobe zoom. And this one came with the red laces, an extra pair. Nike on the back. I think the red laces in these will go real hard. Very nice contrast with the shoe. As you can see right here, though, you got the yellow laces in them already so it's a different it's a different shades of like green and yellow so it's like a hints of yellow lime type color you got your black nike swoosh of course and uh you know you got your full length zoom now on this tongue area here i don't know if you guys can see that but it's kind of got like some white details in there you see that leading up to the kobe symbol the black mamba symbol and then inside the shoe Take this out. You got your Kobe 24 in there. And in the inside, it says molds to my foot. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but it says mold to my foot. See that? So the actual shoe conforms to your actual foot type, which is pretty dope, actually. Nice padding inside. It's exactly what you expect out of a Kobe shoe. Very lightweight. Definitely made for basketball. Definitely. Inside is green. Here's your tag, in case you guys are wondering. That's the shoe tag. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. That's the shoe tag. Tongue is uh, built with the shoe. And uh, very soft. Thin. 
like I said, everything is very lightweight. Shoe is extremely light. Put that back in there. Read you a little something from Nike themselves when they put it online. Let's see here. The Kobe 6 Pro Toe is based on favorite colorway. Originally released on Christmas Day in 2010. Uh, it features a scaly reptile inspired upper with lime green coloring. A playful recoloring of Kobe Bryant's black mamba persona. Alright. So it's a lower and sleeker and faster looking than before. It's fitted with a large flexible zoom air turbo unit. Like I said before, there goes that turbo unit right there. And um, it's a responsive foam. That goes into what I was telling you about the inside of the shoe, how it conforms to your actual foot. And uh, it's scaled down for traction to improve court feel. So there you go. Look at all that traction. You ain't going nowhere in these. Nowhere unless you want to go somewhere, you know? But uh, this shoe is a great shoe, great looking shoe. It's different, but uh, definitely has a lot of meaning to it. So yeah, for the sneakerheads, this is a must have. If you're a Kobe fan, it's a must have. RIP to Kobe, but like I said, great shoe. So if you're looking to get these, they were going for 180 on uh, Nike sneakers app. They released, uh, they released I think on uh, December 24th. They released on December 24th on Christmas Eve. Right now they're currently sold out. So if you're looking to get a pair, you're probably gonna have to go to GOAT, StockX, or maybe your local sneaker boutique. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Rituals. Greatly appreciate you guys. If you be so kind, please hit that subscribe button. Please smash that thumbs up button. And let's go back to the subscription. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell. My channel is based off car content, sneaker reviews, that's what I gave you guys today, money, financial tips, and gaming. So if you're into any of those four things, this is definitely the channel for you. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Rituals. And uh, I'll hit you guys with some B-roll on the way out. But there you go. Have a great day. Peace and love. And we out. R.I.P. Kobe. One love.